you know, a few weeks prior, obviously coming off the injury and, and taking a back seat after that. What was it like? Yeah. Uh, it was just part of the business, I guess. I just had to be able to just focus on what I needed to get done to, you know, get better and be able to help the team win and make plays. What was the hardest part for you of, of the last few weeks of, you know, being being down a couple games and not playing? not playing, yeah. not being able to help the team, not being able to showcase myself. Um, that's that was the hardest thing for me. You've been really good at self-reflection and, and evaluation. Uh -huh. Where is that right now? How would you evaluate where you're at at this point with your game and transition and, and things like that? Mentally, I'm in a good, I'm in a good space. You know, I'm mean? I have the opportunity to really just go out there and I'm healthy. I'm, you know, I know the defense. I'm, I'm just ready to go play fast. You know what I mean? That's where I am right now. Just really, just every day I focus on just correcting my mistakes and, and not even my mistakes, but just like strengthening my my weaknesses and just giving it my all. Is there anything you like took away from these past couple of games when you weren't playing, but like you picked up on or noticed or like yeah. anything specifically like that? Yeah, I, I, I was able to learn a, a really a lot. You know, being on the sideline, seeing the calls, getting it down the distance, seeing what offenses like plays repeat themselves. Like I was able to just really, I guess, just add it to my knowledge. You know, mm -hmm. I think that was something I really took away. And then just seeing other guys make mistakes and make sure I don't make those same mistakes. So, it would, I mean, it, maybe it, maybe it's kind of a blessing in disguise, I don't know. Did you have to change how you do anything, how you prepare, how you get ready? Did you feel like there needed to be something that was different about that? Um, I'm always working, trying to improve myself, honestly. But since I've been out, man, I, I just really just stuck to the same routine as uh, just getting better. But I mean, when I was injured, you know, I was trying to stay in the training room a lot more than I usually am. But honestly, I just, Kept my head down and kept working. Um, didn't really get um, down on myself. I was just like, like when I get my chance, like it's just like I'm, I just gotta go run with it, be myself. To stay in a good mental headspace. I mean, that's hard. That's work in and of itself. Yeah. How did you do that? I was just tired of being down on myself. Tired of trying to be perfect. Just really, just I was just like my all, give my all, and like let the work uh, take over itself. You know what I mean? Not trying to strive to be perfect anymore. Just nothing's going to be perfect. Just try to just give it my all, make sure I'm locked in on what I need to get done, what my eyes need to be, you know, my technique, and just really just going out and play fast. And were there other people you leaned on during that? Like, obviously, a lot of that's self-driven, but mm -hmm. were there people who you looked to particularly for support during that? No, I didn't really ask anybody. I just really just, like I said, just really, just really observant. Um, and just really, it was just really just my mindset is just, just trying to get better as, you know what I'm saying? And, and just really just keeping the chip on my shoulder. Um, really, that's all. What did it mean that the coaches had faith in you in some big spots in that game, in a, in a particularly big game with big moments? Yeah, it was very encouraging, you know what I mean? Just being being um, ready from when my name was called was, was really big for me just because, you know, everything I've you know been through in these last a uh, couple of months, so you know, what I'm saying it's really exciting to be out there on the field and just play alongside my teammates again. That was really fun. You said you were trying now, not being too worried about being perfect. Do you feel mm -hmm. like that's something that you were focusing too much on, like early, like trying yeah. to do everything right, trying to yeah. hit all everything? Yeah, it was causing me to play slow, like think too much. That's all. Too much in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Do you feel like that mindset has just given you kind of the ability to take some of that pressure off? Most definitely. Um, like I said, like um, not trying to be perfect is like definitely has made me just play a lot faster. Allowed me to trust my keys and just play. Like it's, I was just I don't know not putting. I wouldn't say pressure, just just putting too much like expectation on myself. Like I just I don't know. Now I'm just playing now. The last few months, like would you call it a humbling experience, kind of? Um, I think I'm pretty a humble guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, I mean, I just I don't know. It I, it was something to, to just keep a chip on my shoulder, and make sure I don't relax. You know. I think it was, that's what type of month, a couple months has been. I don't know if someone asked this already, what is the coldest game you've played in? Like 22 degrees in Missouri. Okay. Yeah. It's supposed to be zero though, so mm -hmm. I don't know about <laughs> that. What do the older guys say to you, like about preparing for the cold? Like, do they have any tips? Do they have any tricks? Like, what do they um, help you? I started putting on warm skin and some Vaseline. I never did that before. So. Does that help? Yeah, it helped a little. It helped the last game. Um, I wore sleeves, 
but I'm gonna try not to wear sleeve this game. So I'm gonna see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. We hope you see more. Yeah.